Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus, of course, watcher, please try to use the energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself or just leave this reading right where it is for someone else. Now, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Taurus, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit of my ancestors, for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of any planetary placement of Taurus. Taurus energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you as somebody in your energetic field, and it can be past, present, or future. Show me the energy so that we can see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah, here we go. Any planetary placement of Taurus. Please and thank you, ancestors. Show me what I need to see clearly and concisely for everyone's highest good. Eight of Pentacles, working hard at something. Maybe mastering some kind of a skill or talent you have. It's building your bag. <laughs> building your bag. I like it. Somebody here is putting a lot of dedication and focus into something. The eighth could be of significance or August. And, you know, it's most likely your career. Or, like I said, somebody's enjoying their employment. Somebody's headed down, they're doing their thing, minding their own business. Building the bag. <laughs> I love it for you, Taurus. Okay, what's going on here? So now, we also, oh, somebody's trying to make some kind of a decision. Maybe to resurrect a situation. Could be anything. The 20th could be of significance. Yeah. Somebody could be 48 here. So it's judgment, Scorpio energy. It's a final decision. It's a wake-up call. Somebody might be having some kind of a wake-up call to their life's purpose. And working really hard at it or, yeah, at the foundation of this situation, we got a page of wands in reverse. So, first of all, you could have been dealing with a child or somebody very immature. It's a page of wands in reverse. This is, um, oh man, this is an energy of perhaps somebody who's not feeling very creative or they're very, it's a disappointing energy. Somebody maybe have been very rebellious. There could have been a delay here in a situation. Somebody lacks some kind of em energy. Somebody can be extremely immature. It's fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody might have been extremely impulsive. Show me which crown. Somebody needs some kind of rest here. It's time to sit your ass down and take a rest. Taurus crowning you. Maybe you've been working too hard and it's time to, you know, nurture yourself. Get sleep. Get the proper nutrients, water. While you're in this restorative state, it, you know, you could be contemplating your next steps forward. But in the meantime, somebody's working their ass off over here. It's time to sit down and take a rest. Yeah, with the four swords there, that's that. Now, show me what's going on. Something about stained glass. I'm seeing stained glass. I'm also, okay. Something about the Red Cross. Like, maybe somebody works for the Red Cross. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming in. Now, this is somebody who's very clear thinking. Somebody that has a lot of integrity. Somebody who's very balanced. It's a very strategic energy of someone who's thoughtful and intentional leader. Somebody could be in the military of the law, but they don't have to be. It's a disciplined energy. So, somebody using their head over their heart. Somebody very honest and truthful and balanced. Show me how you're perceiving this energy. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody here is being a little lazy. Or maybe somebody here is not going to put the work and effort in. You could be dealing with an air sign that does not want to, you know, put work and effort into something. Whatever this is, Taurus, okay? It's a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody might be greedy or lazy or irresponsible. Somebody might not have, you know, resources or money like this, okay? Somebody can be very selfish. You might be looking at this person like they're lazy and selfish or like they're broke or they're not going to put any kind of work or effort into something, which isn't going to work for you, Taurus, because you're a hard worker. You can't deal with somebody who's not going to put work and effort into anything, whether it's money or a relationship or whatever, all right? Yeah, so you can be calling judgment on this energy, like whether or not to deal with this. All right, I'm getting high Aquarius here. Show me what's going on. What's in the actual environment for Taurus? Taurus, please and thank you. By the way, Taurus, playing for your healing sound bath in the background. It's set at 417 megahertz today. 417 hertz. It's the deep overall healing of Archangel Metatron. We are purging all negative energy around us, with us, uh, sending to us, whatever it is. We're getting rid of it. We're using obsidian and obsidian only this week. It's a protection stone. It blocks and absorbs all negative energy. And it heals and it grounds you, okay? What's in your actual environment? Please and thank you. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity. Light and laughter to infinity and beyond. Let me see what's in the environment for Taurus. 
Any planetary placement of Taurus, please and thank you. Oh, wow. You can, the moon is in reverse. So if you're clearly seeing that no matter, if you're dealing with an air sign, somebody that has air high in their chart, particularly a masculine, and you are seeing that this person is not going to put the work and effort in that's required for something, whatever it is, maybe business, maybe a relationship, doesn't matter. This person may be broke, they may be lazy, yeah, or greedy. I mean, it's a knight of pentacles in reverse. It's not a good energy. This is not somebody that's going to be very steadfast or expand. This could be somebody that's very selfish. Maybe you're looking at this person like, what a selfish son of a bitch this person is. You know what I mean? It's clear as day. You got Cancer and Pisces energy. You know, there's no more fog around this. You're seeing this exactly for what it is. And this is probably why you have to call judgment on whether or not you're going to deal with this or resurrect the situation. And, you know, you are working like you usually do, Taurus. But you may need a rest here. You may need to, you know, sit your ass down and just take a day off. Put your feet up and recuperate. There you go. The high priestess in reverse. See what I'm saying? Somebody's not using their intuition here. And this person may have some kind of a agenda. The high priestess in reverse is somebody that has maybe some kind of, you know, hidden motives or, you know, uncontrolled outbursts. Somebody's very loud and aggressive, like a vexation to somebody's soul here. Somebody who blabbers all their business. They can be very superficial or confused. This person might confuse you. It's, you know, just be mindful if this is the kind of energy. Somebody might have some kind of hidden agenda here. The hidden agenda. What's going on? So use your intuition. Maybe somebody's not using their intuition here. Now, what's in the actual, you know, yeah, hi Pisces. What's in the actual, uh, you know, what's the best outcome to this? The Taurus, Taurus, any planets, every planet. Taurus. Okay, looky here, Taurus. I'm going to tell you something. You better wake up if, and use your intuition. Turn this around, okay? Do not, you might, yeah, because you need to see this clearly. If this is somebody that is not going to, you know, expand, like I said, in any way or put any work into anything. I don't care. They may be smart enough to be tricking you where you're not seeing this. Because you got a six of pentacles in reverse. And in Brooklyn, a six of pentacles in reverse all day, every day is when somebody's taking advantage of somebody's generosity on any level. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically. It doesn't matter, okay? Any energetic level. So this is an energy of some kind of extortion. Using somebody for what they have or whatever reasons. That could be their hidden agenda here. Just trying to get what they can. Somebody, you know, they, just trying to get what they can. Like, you know, because they don't want to work for themselves. This would be like, you know, yeah. Somebody that wants to eat, but they don't want to work to buy food. So they come, you know what I'm saying? Like that. And then it's, you need to take the lead him, Vominos. This is when you have some kind of an end game and you, uh, you know, start to pick up momentum because you're confident. You're looking ahead. Oh, you know, this is a painful end. So this man has got to get kicked to the curb. Hold back. Do not share. Let me try to use you for something here. Yeah, keep, you got to move forward here. Stay focused on your goals. You have cancer energy now. Wherever you're headed, keep going. End this. 10 times the uh, angel code here. So I'm going to be 63 here. You're headed, listen, it is single and successful, having everything you need and you want, and enjoying the fruits of your labor, your hard work, right? You work hard, really hard, and now you get financial rewards and materialistic rewards. You're independent. It's a solo independent energy. We like it. It's Virgo. But what I'm telling you is you worked for this, so go enjoy it. You're going to have some happiness, stability, and a beautiful community around you. Just not people that want to extort you for any reason. Taurus, Taurus. Yeah, we love you. Now, look. Taurus, could you do me a favor? Hit a button. Any button. It doesn't matter. We're rooting for like and subscribe. We're not crazy. But, you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So, some of you may dislike me very much. If that's the case, still hit the subscribe, though. Because you can dislike me on a daily basis, right? It'd be fun. <laughs> Now, you have, I wish I could share my good news with you, but obviously you can't because we're not talking. I lost myself for a little while. I got crazy. Somebody got crazy. Something about a red robe. Somebody might have a big red furry robe. I wish I treated you better. Yeah, well, now, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. And things, they wish they could be different, these things, but they're not because they got crazy. They treated you like shit, and now they have good news that they want to share. I don't think you give a shit. <laughs> I really don't, Taurus. No. I'm here. Go tell it to Sweeney. Wait, here's a nail. Let me get it out of here. Guys, I'm like redoing the office. It's a freaking fucking mess. The only thing I didn't touch was the desk so I could work. But So there's nails and paint and things going on. Show me. Romance Angels, Taurus. Soulmate. Yes, this is the soulmate. Somebody's got a soulmate on the table here. Somebody needs to free themselves. 
Some take back control of your life over somebody that's not going to, somebody who's broke, busted, not going to put any energy. And you're looking at this person, this person that has air in their chart, okay, that they're not. That could be a highly manipulative energy of somebody who wants to manipulate somebody to, to use them or sort them, right? Because they're lazy. See, this person is lazy. They're not going to put the energy in. They want a hand out or a hand off, this one. A lazy fuck. I hate lazy people. I do. I, I do. But it's a thing, you know. Here we go. Show me one more. Here we go. Listen. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning, Taurus. And you got a Decepticon in the house. It's this one. Trying to, you know, be very smart. Somebody thinks they're smarter than you and they're going to try to get whatever they can from you. Extort you here. Somebody's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yeah, that's the extorter. That's what I'm hearing. Ah, Taurus, we fucking love you. Here you go. Now, you got um, moon phases or other astrological placements that maybe have significance to Taurus, please. Taurus. All right, Taurus, here you go. Nothing is set in stone. You got a mutable moon. Take time to breathe out the dismenting moon. And yeah, it's a win-win outcome is forecast. You could be dealing with Libra, somebody that has Libra in their chart, and that's a full moon. Full moon, dismenting, and mutable. Yeah, the full moon again, and Aquarius. I said you could have been dealing with a high Aquarius here. Be real. Be real with yourself first and foremost, Taurus. We know you are. It's solid, solid, solid. Mother Gaia energy, right? Let me see. Here we go. Uh, persistent, dependable, and powerful. That's you, Taurus. Uh, P.S. S.P. Something spun, spun. I don't know. I'm hearing Ben, Bond, Ben, Big old Bill Bond. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. A.E.O. What do we got? We got two P's in the house. All right. Here we go. And two N's. P.P.N.N.S.H.B. A.E.O. Close the energy for Taurus. Thank you. Always remember, leave your logic and integrity act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.